children coming to the third stanza. Across lie groves of mango and palm, the village priests dwell in their cool shade, girls and boys bathe close to the bank, splashing with their gumchas as they wade. Here the poet says you can also find groves of mango and palm across the river and the priest nesting in the cool shade of these groves. You can also see some girls and boys bathing close to the bank, splashing water with their gumchas, walking in the water which is not too deep. Gamcha is a cotton towel as we all know. In the fourth paragraph, the poet says, At dusk and dawn, once their bath is done, they dip washcloths to trap small fish. To their household task, the wives return having used river sand to scour each dish. Here the poet beautifully describes the happening at the riverside at dawn and dusk time. He also says that after they had bathed, they try to trap small fish with the help of their washcloths, so that they can enjoy the delicious fish meal and housewives return to clean the utensils with the help of river sand. Coming to the fifth stanza, the poet says, In Ashad, clouds gather, the waters rise, the rivers in spate, the current grows strong. The air is rife with babbling sounds as the muddy torrent swirls along. The woods on shore stir to life again and our village wakens to celebrate the rain. To conclude, the poet says, In the month of Ashad, the clouds gather in the sky and once the rain starts, the rivers flood with water. The wind is full of whispering sounds and we can see muddy water which swirls in the river and everyone is happy in the village to welcome the rain. So children, how did you like the poem? Ma'am, it's a wonderful poem with Indian beauty and simplicity in it. And I know it is only because it is written by our great poet, Rabindranath Tagore. That's true, children. Tell me, how do we know that the river is just knee-deep? We can make out by seeing the water level in the river. When we see the level is low, it means it is not too deep. Okay, what does one see along the banks of the river? Tall grasses chirping minas and howling jackals, trees, people resting in the shade. How does the river change in Ashad? In Ashad, clouds gather, it rains heavily and the water level rises. In the poem, the poet has mentioned some things that are two in number. You have to find and name them. Two trees, mango, palm. Two animals, jackal, cow. Two seasons, summer, ashad. Two non-English words, gamchas, minas. Two different timings of the day, dawn, dusk. Well done.